And so the big moment has arrived. Six men about to run for glory at stall. $40,000 to the winner, but a place in sporting folklore awaiting one of these six men. They meet the dignitaries, nervous times for these people as well because they are in the sweepstakes and there's a bit at stake here, Dave Colbert. Well, the winner gets an African Wildlife Safari courtesy of her friends at African Wildlife Safari, including young Jamison Cohen. It's been a big weekend for the Cohens. I've had to check the terms and conditions <laughs> of the prize and he's not an employee of the Stall Athletic Club, so he's eligible to enter as the runners are just about ready to be introduced. Yep, and we'll take them from the pink, Edward Weir, who will make his way up the track. So he'll be running downhill to the start. Wales, 10.25 metres, 21 years of age, trained by Brian Wright. The former cheerleader will have people cheering for him today in the gift. He's won the novice here so he knows what to do but it's a nervous time he looked most impressive 12.19 was the fastest of the semi-finals here's ben weaver kevin Britton waits for his turn gets introduced to the crowd and the officials and paul Crocroft wilson in green has already made his way up towards the start perhaps the favorite that man ben weaver from eight meters kevin Britton wearing the blue from grovedale 21 years of age trained by peter walsh up to the start goes Mitchell Williams, trained by a multiple finalist in Brett Robinson, 20 years of age. Is it to be his day? He finished off so strongly. And then the man who's going to see them all at the start, trained by a former Olympian in Paul DeBella, 21 years old, Andrew McKay from Tawong in Queensland. It is one of the most open gifts we've seen in many years. This is part of the stall tradition. It's completely different to everything at the Olympics, the World Championships, the Commonwealth Games. They get introduced to everybody. There's a lot of waiting around. Their blocks are already in. They sprint back down the track. And we saw a couple of the semi-finalists say, from here on, it's what's up top. It's in the head. Can I produce the best race of my life right now? Because if you do, they engrave your name in the tablet outside the Hall of Fame. Your picture goes inside the Hall of Fame. There's a plaque in the main street of Stall, and your life is defined as being a winner of the biggest race in Australia, the Australia Post Stall gift. And to boot, you win $40,000. And there are the six men in line to do just that before the final. And there are people watching us who've been in gift finals before who know the importance of these moments. There will be men watching us who will think, if only I could have been able to hold it together a bit in these moments, I might have been a gift winner. And my life could have changed forever. There's Andrew McCabe, the Queenslander, who comes from 6.25 metres, giving away starts of up to four. A shake of the hand from the starter and the last instructions. Do not get on till I give you the command. When I call you to the set, I'm going to hold till everyone is firmly settled. Now, I'm going to be very severe on any movement in that set position. Now, if you're unsteady, Put up your hand. There are some famous names on the honour roll at Central Park after W.J. Millard won the first gift in 1878. Walk your locks. Silence. The Australia Post store gift. Get on 2011. Your One of this country's iconic sporting events. Ben Weaver, perhaps the favourite, in a very even field in yellow. Set! Off they go. Weaver got a very good start. He's coming after Crowcroft Wilson and Ware, the White Williams running on. Ware giving them something to chase. Weaver coming through and here's the White Williams over the top. Will he get there? I think he might have. It's very close. Maybe Williams from where there's going to be a hundredth of a second in it either way. He's lunged Mitchell Williams and he might have lunged to glory in one of the close finishes in stall gift history. His supporters are pretty confident. Mitchell Williams, the 20 year old personal trainer from Corumban in Queensland. His supporters like him again. He didn't get the best of the start. McCabe's, I think, been a bit tired after his runs on the inside. Where in pink, 
Was we worried about Weaver being a bit tight. He was in the middle. He was just starting to stress out. He's all over the shop. Is Mitchell Williams, but he bounds across the line here. Has he got there? Oh, he just got the staggers. He really got the staggers. Has he hung on? I reckon he has. The chest is there. I think he's the winner. But boy, have a look at him. And he crashed to the deck. I've never seen a last 10 metres like it. What about Andrew McCabe, the red? He was never in the race until the last 15. And he's got to within a metre or so. It is desperately, desperately close. But I think Mitch Williams has etched his name into the history books just from Edward Ware. Have a look at it here. He really started to get the staggers. He was up and down. He was up and down. He nearly ran into the... Finish gate, and he's got it. Here he is, our winner. Mitch Williams takes the gift in 2011. Koza, down to you. Absolutely. PD, thank you very much, Mitch. Your life has, ch your life has changed. You are the Australia Post stall gift winner, 2011. Yeah! That was a good run. Just hamstring went at the end, so... Yeah, lucky it's the last run of the season, so six weeks now. <laughs> what do you mean just your hamstring went at the end? You had a field coming at you as hard as they possibly could. Take us through the last five to ten metres. Yeah, those, the, like the hamstring went in the last five, ten minutes. So I just try to push through. And yeah, I just got through there. It's at the end. When you hit the ground, you actually punched the earth. Did you think you'd done it or did you think you hadn't done it? Oh, I knew I tore my hamstring by then. So I just didn't know if I got there or not. I knew. Yeah, it's just a hard race. <laughs> Let's have a look at the hammy. Turn it around. What's going on there? That, there that's going to be the most famous hamstring in Australia because uh, as a winner, what does it mean to you to be part of history? Yeah, it's definitely very like, important. Um, just like think like my mum because she hopes she gets better. She's got cancer, so it's for her pretty much. So, yeah. What about your stable? What about your support crew here? Yeah, I'd like to thank Brett Robinson. He's, just, he's been training for the last 12 weeks, so... Phew. And tonight, what do you think's on offer? I don't know, probably get pissed. Some ice? <laughs> yeah, my hands are yeah, Just get pissed. <laughs> do. Mitch, congratulations. Well done. All uh, right, thanks, mate. Yeah. There he is, boys. He's hobbling away. The support crew are there with him, but Mitchell Williams is the winner of the 2011 Australia Post All Gift. Well, by the sound of it, the anaesthetic is awaiting tonight. Mitch Williams gets there. It was a miracle he didn't crash into the finishing gates, doing his hamstring about five metres from the line. As Dave Colbert said, he lost his form, and now we know why. But Mitch Williams gets there. Edward Ware is left to wonder what might have been, and Andrew McCabe flashing home to figure in a blanket finish in the 2011 Australia Post stall gift final. A dramatic finish. It looked as though it was going to be a great race and so it turned out. Two hundredths of a second it was. Mitchell Williams is the champion in 2011. Edward Ware second in 12-13. Andrew McCabe third in 12-17. Benjamin Weaver fourth in 12-21. Point one of a second between the first four in the Australia Post stall gift. What a final. The presentation of the winner's cheque of $40,000 coming up to Mitchell Williams on the other side of this break at Central Park in Storm.